Okay, so walking up the ramp, just can get in focus a little bit. So there's the Gen 1 GTM uh, right there. And then uh, on the inside, hopefully the light's okay. The transaxle's pulled because uh, the, the guy I bought it from pulled the LS1 motor on it. The serial numbers didn't match uh, the bill of sale from the donor, so we didn't run into a problem later. We worked out a deal that he just pulled the uh, the engine out and I took the rest of the car. Um, There's some Shane parts on this car already. Uh, you can see the relocation uh, air conditioning unit for the vintage air uh, right here, internal, which is a, a big win. Uh, it looks like it has a, let me get back to this side, it looks like it has a Ford Probe shifter versus instead of, here, let me get in here, instead of, you know, the, the factory five shift kit. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at this. Uh, this is the first time I put my hands on there. Uh, right now, initially it, it feels, uh, pretty stiff, but. We'll take a look at it. It's kind of interesting. It uh, it's certainly better than the the rod shifter. Uh, I'm not sure that it, it's better than the cable shifter that you can buy. Uh, I've had that in a in the Gen 2 GTM, and it, it's uh it's mu it's much nicer. Um, you see, this got the stock fuel cells in there. Uh, they didn't they don't leak, so so that's good. Uh, and it's got you know some of the wiring is done. Kind of, kind of interesting, and and uh, it's all out of the stock uh, C5. Uh, air conditioning was charged actually. Uh, that I'm understanding, I found some Freon uh, cans in the trash in, in some of the boxes, so that that's good news. Uh, I'm guessing it was charged. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, let's see. No, yeah, no other boxes there. It is, like I said, it is a Gen 1 uh, GTM. So for you guys who don't know, so the nose is, is different. I'm sure there's a bunch of little other items that are different, but the nose openings are different. Uh, the Gen 1 has these. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the main difference on the nose. I know there's differences in the doors. Uh, this the side windows that go right here are plexiglass on the gen 1 as is the waterfall window in the back that separates the cockpit from the engine the gen 2 is glass uh, so I'm gonna see if they if that actually fits I think the glass looks better than the plexi and then of course the rear hatch is one solid piece um, versus the one uh, for the gen gen 2 and uh, the big deal there is, you know, obviously to get these these gaps, you know, cleaned up, uh, which is an extra piece of effort uh, that you wouldn't have to do on a on a Gen Two. Okay, uh, so let's let's walk in here. So there was that one wiring harness in the car. I did find in one of the boxes another wiring harness. So. I'm going to keep that wiring harness, oh, this, the sun's horrible, keep that wiring harness uh, available just for extra wires or plugs, something I, I need. Uh, there's there's the G5001. Uh, doesn't look worth for wear. I, they were driving it around, so I'm, I'm saying that the synchros probably work. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll spin the dice, clean it up, get it painted, and, and hopefully it'll hold you know, the 400 horsepower motor that's going in there. Uh, this is what ended up being all of the air conditioning and uh, rubber bulb uh, box. Uh, I consolidated it. It was like in five separate boxes. Um, this little pile of stuff is kind of what I was talking to you or mentioning earlier. So in there, you know, you pick up... Oh, I, you know, we've got this anti-tip device. I guess they this was in there so if you had a bookcase or something by the GTM when you were done, it wouldn't fall on it or something. I, I don't know. So 
we'll probably throw that out. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what this initially was when I started to look at it. Uh, yeah, two sprinkler heads. I guess this is the Gen 1 fire suppression system. I called around and texted a couple buddy of mine, uh, Factory 5 guys and friends. They're like, <laughs> their immediate thought was it's a fire suppression system. So, yeah, we won't be using those. Uh, I guess this is the uh, Gen 1 kryptonite anti... Uh, theft device for the factory 5 GTM and eh, probably won't be using that either uh, I'm not sure this flexible drain coupler I don't know what we could use this for maybe a massive duct of air from the nose or something looks pretty new never used thrown in the kit all right well that's fine um, this one's kind of funny I I thought for sure, I was like, well, that is, I thought this was mine, actually, uh, that somehow I dropped my bag in there, and I, it says it's 25 years durable, well, let's see, it, 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 it was bought in 2012, uh, so, I don't know, I guess it's got a couple years left, uh, we won't be using that, um, I got my first custom factory 5 bracket, I guess, not sure what's going on here. I found this. This is actually supposed to be for the door uh, striker and latch, the bear claw. Uh, I'm not sure what this piece is right here, and I'm not really sure these welds. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, yeah, there was. I, I don't know if, if they make a rat that actually like eats metal, but so, something got a hold of this, um, and I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that. I think I'll just cut it all apart, clean it all off, you know, make it all nice, get it power coated. And, and just for reference, this bracket is supposed to look like this as an example. So I'm not sure what was going on between this and this, but in any event, we'll get that rectified. Um, I guess, uh, I'm really sure why this is in here again. Uh, it's an interesting, we, a uh, lug wrench. We're, we're probably not going to use that either. Um, and then, as provided, the directions or constructions or technical manual, however you want to look at it, uh, there's your painless wiring instructions, which is interesting because I've got two Corvette harnesses, so it, as, as, as you can tell, it's uh, not been used. Um, nice, faded, original GTM Gen 1 manual. That's kind of cool. I might just keep this around. It's nice to see how it was done back in, you know, 2007. Looks like somebody's been going through there and hi highlighting some some items. You know, at least it was opened. Uh, and then there's like a box of papers, reference. Who knows? Uh, oh, looks like somebody bought... Uh, Walbro high performance pump. That's probably good to know. Uh, you're seeing it as I am seeing it for the first time, just opening it through. Looks like somebody definitely uh, was thinking about something and uh, off to a good start. Uh, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is for, looks like a bookcase, something. Maybe this is for the anti tip bracket. Uh, I don't know. Um, and it looks like some shocks, KYBs that. Yeah, those aren't on this car. Uh, anyway, just a bunch of different areas of body buck. We don't need that. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of different pieces of paper. Probably go into the shredder. Anyway, uh, some doors. Again, now we've got a fiberglass rat, I guess. He got a hold of the door. I think there's some. there was some thought here. I'm not sure what's going on with... All of this piece that all got cut up, I'll have to either I'll just probably just fiberglass that back and uh, and and then recut it. And then for reference, I mean, it starts off like that, and the directions don't really say to do this. So we'll make that look like this and move on. Uh, there are the seats, all nice and cozy, sitting underneath the table. We'll see those in a month or two. Uh, factory or the uh, factory cats. 
Well, this is kind of what I was talking about before, guys. So here are all the bolts, extra bolts, donor bolts. They were just all kind of thrown in the in the bottom. We'll, we'll keep these. Just who knows. Um, and then here's the dash. The the dash. Uh, it's actually in really good shape for a 2007. Uh, horror stories of like the vinyl lifting and such. Uh, there are still door cards uh, right here. Uh, everything looks pretty good. The you know the carbon fiber dash it looks a little bit beat up i'm guessing it's just mostly dirty looks like it's got a little scratch right here yeah it's it's a little little booger there so we'll have to figure out something to do with that it'll it'll work out maybe just get a new one uh nice clean starter there's the porsche flywheel uh, let's see what else. Uh, here's the rest of the bag of bolts. Uh, these are actually the factory five uh, bolts that are for the doors. I found it was buried in some other box. Pretty sure that's most of them. I'm sure I'll have to make a call. Uh, H pipe looks like it uh, needs some love. Uh, some more cats. Uh, fiberglass or sorry, fiberglass aluminum pieces boxes there's this interesting x-pipe thing i thought it was a cook's header initially but no chance uh that is definitely not a cook's uh x-pipe that that is somebody's thought on on something uh there's the fiberglass diffuser uh, a bunch of uh, plexiglass so this is what i was talking about this this plexiglass is for the side uh, quarter window which is glass on the gen 2 so i'm going to see about we're either calling shane up or seeing if i can get the the glass one to, to fit uh, i was able to find all the lights all the hardware form the all the bolts and everything were in like three or four different boxes uh, shifter boot uh, i haven't really seen any other electrical items that there's the painless uh wiring harness uh, electrical hardware it's and this is this is great so it's sitting in the box so or the bag with the marking on it so we know exactly what that is there's an extra set of springs here for some reason the car is up on springs so i'm not sure what that is uh, we got the full set of gauges that you know will probably not be used um actually won't be used we're gonna go full digital dash and uh, digital ECU uh, standalone on this on this one, and that is it for right now. Uh, I believe. Yep, that's it. So the, we're gonna build it right here. I'm gonna move these boxes out of the way. Oh, I do. In spare time, I made the uh, the halo for the headliner. Just pop that one out of the mold. I'm curious to see if this one fits. I haven't actually found a car that one of these actually fits straight away in, but I think this was built off of a Gen 1 Halo, so hopefully hopefully that fits. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, the next picture will be the, or video, will we'll have the car in the garage. Um, other than that, yeah, so this is... This is the workspace for at least a few months, and uh, we're going to strip this thing down and uh, start over.